Okie dokes. So, uh, here's actually cool news. Uh, is it cool? Because it, it can't get canceled. It was, it was, it was cool. All right. All it right. could have been cool. How about it? Could have been cool. There we go. So, um, some guy from Information Learn from Did You Know Gaming, uh, and I just wanted to talk about this, uh, and uh, they basically found footage of something call, called Codename Project Apollo, mm. which would have been a Nolan, like a, a Batman game based on the Christopher Nolan universe that basically, like, footage came out, and I'm going to show it on here, where, you, where basically it was like an Arkham game, but it had the Nemesis system because this game was then turned into Middle Earth Shadows of Mordor, which I'm like... Which I still have not played Shadows of Mordor, but like, didn't people make a lot of Arkham comparisons to the combat in that game? Oh, no, no. Basically, Shadows of Mordor is you take uh, Lord of the Rings and you put it on an Assassin's Creed game. Yeah. But instead of the awful combat that's in every single one of them, mm -hmm. you just slap the Arkham combat on it. Which, pretty good hybrid. Yeah. Like, solid hybrid. Like, I love Shadows of War. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. I love it. I played it again a couple of years ago, and I'm like, damn, this game is literally the coolest. And one of the gimmicks was the Nemesis system, where because you know all the villains were orcs in that game, there was about... I think 30 orcs that were like mil they had military ranks and you could do things to them that could change how the enemies work like for example you could mind control all of them so that way they stay in their little location so you'll have less like raving bands of orcs or if one kills you they get a battle scar mm. and they get a stat buff and you can revenge kill them for a stronger step, but like, because you, if you kill them, you get rewards. Yeah. You get a stronger reward for revenge, or you could, uh, you could have one stat that you like, but like, oh, it's a little weak. So you could kill and manipulate it so that that orc goes into the higher ranks, then get the higher perk to boost your guy. And it's really interesting. And it's a copyrighted system, so it's only in two games. Thanks, EA. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, EA. Um, we really are. Back on our bullying stuff. That Back on our bullying. But, like, it's super interesting that they were going to put this in a Batman game set around the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Which is funny because when Shadow of Mordor came out, I remember people talking about the Nemesis system and being like, oh, this would be great in a Batman game. Because you can replace the orcs with crime bosses. Yeah, exactly. Have, like, a peon random grunt. And like, I mean, uh, maybe that wouldn't ethic. Well, actually, no, you could because Batman could have a mole mm. be the weaker guy and then help him get to higher in the ranks. So yeah. that way, you can know more about crime going Because you wouldn't, on. you wouldn't have, be able to do it with like any of the villains. Yeah, no, 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 no. That, that wouldn't make much sense. They would be like, you know, like the Penguins guys. Yeah. But you wouldn't control Penguin, right? Like, like who, who was that guy in Arkham Origins? He was like a mini boss. He was like one of Bane's dudes. Uh, the electrocution? No. no. Uh, it was like a side mission. Let's see. There was Copperhead, Deathstroke, Anarchy. Oh, shoot. Who are the other guys? Black Mask was Joker. Yeah. Oh my God, dude! It's literally been years since I don't I remember. That but game. like, there, there, was, there was a side. There was like a mini boss in Arkham Origins where like it was one. It was like Bane's right-hand man and you, there was a whole side mission of like hunting him down yeah but then you could just you could have done that that would have been cool yeah but like you know and, and i'm not we're not gonna be bitter about this i just think it's really interesting that like you know hold on like this was supposed to be like this is footage but it's mm -hmm. just this was shadows of mordor batman arkham style game yeah. with the nemesis system I just think it's really interesting, and apparently, you know, Christopher Nolan was helping write it. But really? He, yeah, but he stopped because he wanted to focus more on The Dark Knight Rises. Gotcha. Which, it would be insane if that rumor that The Dark Knight Rises villain was supposed to be Joker was a leaked script from this game. Really? No, no, I'm just saying, wouldn't it be wild? Oh, okay, I see. Because I remember for years, someone leaked the script and the villain was going to be, I'm sorry, not uh, it was going to be Riddler. 
Was it? Was it? I don't know. People were that was speculation. People were doing that. No, I don't know. it was, it it was it rumored that it was. It was rumored and leaked for a long time. Mm. It, for like literally until Bane showed up, literally everyone thought it was rumored. Interesting. So wouldn't it be wild if this is where the Riddler rumor came from? Maybe. Right? Because there were like 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 actually well produced fake posters and yeah. everything. Um, but yeah. Just, just something interesting we'd like to show. You know, it's, it's. It, I just think it's cool. I just think it's interesting. Yeah. I think it's cool. You know, it's not like we're getting another good Batman game anytime soon. But, but didn't you? Didn't you love Gotham? Oh, what about Suicide Squad? Kill the Justice League. Yeah. Or Multiverses with Kevin Conroy's Batman. <laughs> That's coming back and looks worse. Yeah. <laughs> We'll be right